guys welcome back to my channel this week's grocery haul I went to Costco I went to Walmart and then I went to a local chain grocery store I found a like two I think two new three new products two of them specifically for keto I repurchased a couple of products that I have discovered over in the last few weeks so I want to show you that then with the products that I really like that are very keto friendly and I repurchased those um, my meal plan this week is very simple for lunches I'm doing pizza bowls and then also just gonna do like lettuce wraps, lettuce wraps with like lunch meat and cheese and pickles, that kind of thing, and bacon. Like I think they're called like club wraps or something like that. And then for dinners, I'm just, I only need dinners three days this week because I am doing a challenge thing this week. So I only need dinners for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I am gonna be doing just some simple chicken thighs in the air fryer. And I'm gonna do that pork tenderloin from last week because I never cooked that up. And then uh, my other dinner is just going to be like bunless burgers, bacon cheeseburgers I think I'm just gonna do. And then I'm making a side dish that is a loaded cauliflower side dish, like a casserole actually is what it is. It's not like the same one I made a few weeks ago. This is an actual casserole that you put in the oven and it sounds amazing. It has like cream cheese and regular cheese and bacon and just sounds super good. So I thought that would be a good side dish for a couple of days this week. And then I'll just do salads on the other side dish. It was just a very, um, needed to be a very budget week. And then I also wanted to make room for any like specialty products that I found just to try them out and that I did. So, okay, let's get into it. So I have the chicken thighs here. And these are just boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These cook up the best in my air fryer. That's why I like to get them. Um, but the chicken thighs I had last week with the cilantro lime chicken was so good. Um, I What I did was I seared them off first in my skillet, then put them in my air fryer. They were so ju juicy. Oh my goodness. So definitely been having these one or two days this week. Then I have some ground beef down there. Picked up some bacon. I picked up two different kinds of bacon. This was at my on a really good deal at my local chain grocery store. And so I thought I'd try it. It is um, thick cut. They call it butcher cut. It's less than a less than one gram of carbs. So there is a little bit of sugar in there. But I it's hard from I can't find any zero sugar bacon in my town. I know that there's several places that have them, like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and whatnot, but we don't have those here. So this is the closest I can get. Um, but I needed bacon for, of course, just eating, but for the wraps and also for the cauliflower. So I wanted to get two. So I got my old standby just because I know I like this for sure. This is the Oscar Mayer Center Cut. Um, but I wanted to try this because it was such a good deal. My grocery, oh, I also went to Grocery Outlet. Yes, also went to Grocery Outlet. Um, my Grocery Outlet had the Vital Farms Pasture Raised Eggs for $2.99. So I picked up two of them. They're good till the end of the month. Not sure why they're on such a great deal, but... Man, you guys, these are my favorite eggs. Um, second, no, these actually are my favorite eggs. Second is the organic happy eggs, but these are so good. So I picked up two of them because I could not pass up that deal. I picked up two of the pepperonis because my son is gonna start eating a keto again with me. Um, he is 20, so it's not he's young or anything. Um, but So I wanted to get some extra pepperoni um, for the pepperoni bowls for lunches. And you guys will see that in meal prep, how I put those together. I've made them before, but that way I can, I'll just make them again and show you guys how I do that. Uh, Canadian bacon, again, for those pepperoni bowls, or the pizza bowls, sorry. I got some dill chips to go with the um, wraps, like the um, club wraps. And then I just got some pickle spears just to eat. I was out of olive oil, so I picked up some olive oil. It's hard to find avocado oil in my town, and Costco has them but they raise the price on there and so i don't know if i want to pay that price for it and i don't use it a whole lot i use butter more than anything so anyway um this is my favorite sweetener anybody asks what i use for sweetener in my coffee this is what i use i not a huge stevia fan never have been but i like the pure stevia this is my favorite and it's actually a stevia erythritol blend but i really like that Okay, I'm gonna wait on those things because those are the new things I found. Uh, heavy whipping cream for coffee, keto smoothies, that kind of thing. Sour cream is for the cauliflower bake, but also just in finding sour cream for anything. I can't remember which cheese I needed for what. Um, I needed some Monterey Jack and I needed some mozzarella and recipes call for both of those. I got the sliced cheese for the wraps and then also just, you know, because I like sliced cheese and I already have some, a block of Colby Jack in there to use for omelets for breakfast. The cream cheese is for that cauliflower bake. Needed to stock up on butter. Okay, 
Well, this is a repurchase. I purchased this, I think, for the first time last week, and it is amazing. I really like it. I really like it in my Nespresso coffee because my Nespresso coffee is so smooth. This stuff is good. So here are the stats on that. And the ingredients are very clean. Another repurchase are these from Grocery Outlet. These are the Borklunder. They only had the hot, which to me the hot are not very hot. So I did pick up quite a few of those. And then this is something new that I saw at my Costco. I don't know if it's new, new, but it's new to my Costco. This is the keto snack mix. So it has macadamias, pecans, pepitas, which are like pumpkin seeds, almonds, and cheese balls. So these are only two net carbs for a quarter cup. So I thought, why not? Here's what they look like. I just thought it'd be something fun to try. Like I said, I had it in my budget to pick a few things to just try and let you guys know what I think. So I think this would be really good just for a snack to have, especially at work. I like to have things that I can have like that are snacky. And I think these would be super good. I also did get some more moon cheese at Grocery Outlet, but I've already eaten that. So I did have that. And this is another thing that we found at Costco. And then my Costco has probably had these for a while. I just haven't noticed them. But this is the garlic urban olive oil almonds. I thought that sounded really good. Almonds are the only nuts I was out of in my house. And these are three net. Oh, no. These are two net carbs also. Yes. So, and four. I'm sure like an ounce or quarter cup or something. 28 grams. So, I think these sound amazing. Uh, the Santa Cruz peanut butter is another repurchase. This is only two net carbs, so it's very comparable to that uh, organic peanut butter that people can find at their Walmart that I cannot find at my Walmart. This stuff is so good, too. It is, it, it just has such a great flavor, but how can you beat two net carbs for this? There you go. The ingredients are super clean. And then this. So... Again, this was a little bit expensive. It was like $4.58. I found it at my local chain grocery store. It's right next to that. That's why I noticed it. Oh, the other, the keto, I think I told you that came from Walmart. I mean, from Costco. So here's what's in it. Almonds, coconut, Brazil nuts, pecans, macadamias, uh, flax seeds, chia seeds, and then sea salt. So four grams of protein, one gram of sugar, paleo, vegan, keto, two grams of net carbs, it's crunchy. So it's two tablespoons is the serving and you, it stores it upside down and it tells you why. And then here's all the rest of the stats. So six total carbs, four grams of fiber. Here are the ingredients, very clean. I cannot wait to try this on some toast. Speaking of which, my I saw the keto bread at Walmart. I was going to repurchase that, but I had heard that my Costco carried the double pack of the France um, zero carb bread, but they were out of it. So I'm gonna have to go on Monday to go pick up some more keto bread because I do I really am enjoying that zero carb bread from France. So that's another repurchase that of some products that I have been picking up. I definitely would repurchase that again. Some people, you know, the keto police do not like the ingredients in that, which is fine. I, that they can have their opinion, but that's the whole thing about this. This is your journey. If you want to eat some bread that has soybean oil in it, then go ahead and do it. It's, if it just helps you get through your journey, go ahead and do it. Don't listen to the people that say that you shouldn't have that kind of stuff. I picked up some organic rice cauliflower at Costco. This is the first time my Costco has had the ones with the individual bags. I am so glad that this is back. It's been having, we've been only having the ones in the big, just huge bag, and it was terrible trying to get it apart. So I'm so glad to see this again. So they're four one pound bags. It's only like $7.79, a very good price. Repurchased the pomegranate um, raspberry stash tea. This is the green tea and matcha, super good. Picked up some oven roasted deli turkey lunch meat. This is going to be for those um, lettuce wraps. Tomatoes for salads and omelets and whatnot. The tomato sauce it, right here is for the pizza bowls. Avocados for everything. Cauliflower for the cauliflower bake. The green peppers are going to be for those pizza bowls. Um, iceberg lettuce, I know not the best lettuce, but it's the ones that I like to have with my lettuce wraps. It's just the easiest to wrap, kind of like the Jimmy John's Unwitches. This is the kind of lettuce that's the easiest to wrap with. Zucchini just for whatever I want, but mainly probably for omelets. 
green onions, spring mix as usual. Picked up some energy drinks. This, y'all, is the best tasting energy drink. This is a tangerine mango strawberry. So I picked up two of these. I, I know a lot of people don't like the these rock stars and stuff, but they are two grams of erythritol, two grams of carbs. So um, and, and one can is a serving, so it's really the zero carbs. I picked up two more of the app, candy apple crisp of the bang, which is my favorite. This is a new one that I've seen. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Another one of the rock stars, the super sour green apple. Thought that sounded amazing. Grocery outlet has these on sale for 69 cents. So I picked up the strawberry watermelon, the black cherry, and the coconut pineapple. And that is everything, y'all. We found some really good stuff this week. I think my total came to $134 total for everything that I bought today um, here on the table that was like keto kind of friendly. Um, that's included the meat though. The meat is like everybody's gonna have, you know, all of this, but anywho, um, I'm just excited for this next week. So stay tuned for my um, daily vlogs and you'll see how I put all the stuff together, my dinners and all that. And I'll let you know, of course, what I think of these new things that I am trying. I will let you guys know how those turned out and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed, please take a moment to do so and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.